Hey, I'm Greg. And I'm Jimmy. And Honda Racing F1 have asked us to show you exactly how their master engineers achieve energy saving as big as this. Right, Greg, so as we're driving along, how many things do you think you're monitoring? Uh, well, I'm looking at the road ahead, uh, I'm looking in the rearview mirror at the road behind, I know what gear I'm in, I know what speed I'm going. And trust me, I'm grateful for all those things. But that is about four things, yeah? Yeah. And how often do you think you're checking all of those things? Probably every second. Every yeah? second. Why? Well, that makes you good enough to control a normal car like this. But an F1 car's onboard computer, it's electronic control unit measures 10,000 things one million times every second. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, right? But hang on a minute, you're, you're basically saying that uh, an F1 car's brain is better than my brain. Well, the driver is ultimately in control, but the ECU works incredibly fast, making sure the driver gets the power they need when they need it. But, but that is what you're saying? Yeah, essentially that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, mate, what have you got planned? To demonstrate how fast the ECU works, I'm letting you control my car's power unit. Sweet. Well, go-kart's engine. So I'm actually in control of you in the go-kart. What am I letting myself in for? Get in. OK, Greg, I should probably do some explaining because this board represents the information coming in from a Formula One car's most important sensors. A combination of those sensors working together creates nearly 10,000 items that the onboard ECU needs to deal with. That's some pretty complicated stuff, but to keep it simple for you, I've only given you seven. Thanks. OK, yeah, I see what you've done here. You've got the two motor generator units, the MGU-H and the NZUK. We've got the turbocharger oh, and, and the energy store. You've got all the bits that we've been talking about in all the previous episodes, the stuff that you need to get a car to full power. Exactly. Check this out. OK, so these lights are connected up to my cart. And when it's running or going around the track, they're going to light up, just like the ICE is now, because the engine is running. In a real F1 race, there's lots of clever programming, but all I've got to rely on now is your wits. It's all about how fast you can react to the information coming in. You see, a slow ECU means the power unit won't work optimally, and a slow Greg means that I won't get maximum power out of that engine, and I'll lose going around the track. All right. Want to give it a go? Yeah. Turn off that light. How hard can it be? We're about to find out. Teamwork makes the dream work, my friend. Come on. Right, Jimmy's on the start line, so his ICE is starting to kick in. Got it. Jimmy. <laughs> Right, the turbocharger has come on. That means there are hot exhaust gases running through the turbine and giving us power. Oh, exhaust temperature is up. That means those hot expanding exhaust gases going out and are going to be turning the MGUH, storing that energy. Perfect. OK, more heat. Into the right, brakes are going. We can actually harvest that kinetic energy using the MG UK and some of that energy goes into the energy store. Ah. I'm just not getting enough power. I'm just not getting enough power. I'm losing ground. Come on, come on, come on. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. So, all oh, the energy store is almost full. Okay, we're full, and he's going to need some energy coming out of the bend. Ready, Jimmy? Go, now, do it now! I'm harvesting, I'm harvesting a lot. Ugh. We're full, we're on full. Okay, more power ready. Hold on. Come on! I'm overtaking you, sir. You're doing this. Ooh. We did it! We did it! <laughs> I did it! 
absolutely incredible. That was wicked. But that I'm going to be honest really... with you, you were a little bit sluggish at the start, but yeah, you managed right. to pull me through in the end. Which is what matters. This guy here managed to respond to 48 events in 90 seconds. Now imagine monitoring every event of one of the fastest road course racing cars in the world. That would take you some 53,000 years, and that's for just one lap. What? You'd be a very old man. I am not standing there doing that for that long. 53,000 years? So there it is. The ECU, the crucial nerve center that holds together all the things that we've been telling you about over the past five episodes. And that whole system enables us to create energy savings of about 40 megajoules per lap. That's it for this season. Thanks a lot for joining us. It's been a total blast. Yeah, thanks guys. Um, my turn to race you. Get your helmet on. <laughs>